it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. And indeed, three such men came through quite recently, each of them arriving in Meryton single and departing it married. But not one of them had the good sense to choose me for a wife. That's quite all right. I really couldn't care less. I must say, it's a relief to have so many of my sisters out of the house. It's far easier to focus on practicing the piano forte and reading Fordyce's sermons when there's only the two of us, not counting mother and father, of course. They did quite well for themselves, I suppose, my two eldest sisters. Although, I wouldn't care for a gentleman quite so proud as Mr. Darcy, or so wishy-washy as Mr. Bingley, but to each their own, I suppose. As for my youngest sister, Lydia, I can hardly congratulate her on her marriage. She's far too young and far too foolish in her choice of a husband. The only good thing that can be said about the match is that they did get married, which for a while we were quite concerned that they did not intend to do. Such a scandal would have tarnished all our reputations, perhaps beyond repair. No, I wasn't referring to Mr. Wickham when I spoke of three single men with large fortunes. Mr. Wickham has the unfortunate tendency of gambling his money away and living in a constant state of debt to which he will no doubt return once he has squandered the money he was paid to marry Lydia. No, I was referring to the esteemed Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins came to town with the specific intention of marrying one of us Bennett girls. He said it seemed like the decent thing to do, given that our family's estate is entailed to pass to him when our father is gone. Collins is a clergyman, an honorable profession, and I would have gladly given my hand in marriage to such a man. But it was not to be. Even the best of us have our faults. I don't believe that Mr. Collins ever seriously considered me. After he was turned down both by Jane and Elizabeth, he ended up with Charlotte Lucas of all people. Well, no matter. From what I gather, I might not have enjoyed being Mrs. Collins quite as much as I had hoped in any case. I'm better off with my books and my pianoforte. So much has changed since then. Father is very strict with my younger sister Kitty now. After Lydia's elopement, he couldn't bear to see her make the same mistakes. But with me, he and Mother know they need not worry. So they've decided to trust me. It's been decided that I will go to London to visit my mother's relatives. Her brothers, my uncles, are lawyers there. While they're a step beneath us in social class, they're quite respectable men. Mother says it will be good for me to see a bit more of the country and perhaps find a husband. I remain skeptical, but I have no objection to visiting London and imposing on the hospitality of my relatives. I wish all the best to Jane and Elizabeth in their marriages. And to Lydia as well, I suppose, but I hardly think that anything good will come of her reckless decisions. As for myself, one can never know what the future holds. Mm -hmm.